you ever heard of the expression, prior plan and preparation prevents poor performance with a clean plan? Any of that, roll intro. Good morning, chickens. Yeah, Mummy's fed you today and watered you. Good morning from the southwest of France. Departement says, La Charente. Uh, yeah, I'm glad that you enjoyed the, the video yesterday. It was a bit of a mishmash, <laughs> bit of a lawnmower um, blade sharpening, bit of bike riding. Um, yeah. Thanks for the comments. You know, I love a comment. Anyway, today, oh, I've got to go to the tip. See the nasty lady. Hi. I'm going to put on the charm offensive. I'm going to make friends with her. Right, just decided. She could be my mate. Not like that. I had a question from uh, Jean-Marc, um, who wanted a, a little bit more explanation about the S1. Now, the S1 is a form that you apply for from the, from the British authorities to present to the French authorities to say that uh, Britain will be paying for your healthcare or most of it, or something like that. I've not really researched it, because it doesn't apply to me. Now, in order to get an S1 form, you need to be a retirement age of 67, or be in possession of an exportable benefit, uh, of which we are not. So in order to become uh, part of the French healthcare system, um, to be in possession of the carte vitale, you need to set off loads of forms. But one of the forms is a refusal to get the S1 form. So even though you're not entitled to it, you need to apply for it and then get refused and then um, give that proof of refusal to the French authorities. Yeah, so the week before last, Lisa and I just phoned um, the, the British helpline. We told them what our issue with, uh, was, thinking that it was gonna be an issue. It wasn't, she goes, no, that's, that's absolutely fine. So we both did it together on the phone, in the car and uh, provided all, all our details. She asked us whether we're 67, she asked us whether we're in possession of the child benefits and this, that and the other, we said we're not. She goes, right, okay. Uh, I'm now gonna refuse you for your S1 uh, and I'll send you a letter in the email. The email came before we even got off the phone and uh, attached to the email was the refusal letter in French and in English. And it was as simple as that. The lady on the phone was, uh, was really, really helpful and uh, it, it, it took no longer than 10 minutes. It would have only been five minutes if it was just me, uh, but, but we both had to do it. Anyway, whatever's next, let's do that. Oh, I've just remembered a few questions. No, I'm not gonna stay clean shaven. The reason being, when it's at uh, this length and color, it looks as though I'm about to uh, Enter the threshold of a Betty Ford clinic about to start a 12 steps program. So, no. Uh, and a question from Christina Playstead was how do I do the shot of me walking away? I said, what? I'll show you. Right. So, what I'll do is I set the camera down. Like so. And then walk away.
racing with me as a as backup. <laughs> Cue slow mo. Yeah, it's shut. <laughs> right, have you ever heard of the expression? I know you have, Gary, uh, from Loco Four Pack. Prior plan and preparation prevents poor performance. I'm gonna bleep that. Um, I did check on Monday as to what days of the week it was open, and I got mixed up between my Mercurides and Rigidis. Anyway, so I'm gonna drop Lisa back off at home. I'm gonna go to the one in St. Claude. Or what I call it, St. Claude Van Damme. <laughs> Anyway, let's do that. I wasn't the one, but I gave it all I've got. When all is said and done. Again, didn't it? Stuff that I recorded yesterday afternoon after I mowed the lawn. Slow mow again. Anyway, Friday today. Raining. Need to let the chickens out. Let's do that. Right, morning, kids. Sorry, it's a little bit late. I'm gonna stay in today. Heavens have opened again. Of course it is. It's summer in France. The sweet corn this time. I'll be picky. Watch your mouth, Arnie. It's not big and it's not clever. So this threatens to be a very, very short video today. Apologies. It's raining. Can't do anything. Can't even weed. It's back again. With a vengeance. I did tell you it was going to be content light day today. Uh, it's raining. Both of, these, both of these and I have been out for something sweet. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you some footage. Some baby kestrels that are, that are living in the eaves of Cathy and Martin, our friend's house, around the corner. I'll show you that. And then we're going to walk over to the veggie patch. And then that's it, we're done. Right, I'll do that now. Right. A bit of advice from Lisa, don't ever, ever, ever buy hunter wellies. They are just purely f for, for fashion. They've got no practical use at all. What has happened to them? Well, they're cracking here, down here, yeah. you see? And my feet are, I've just put my feet in there and there's more water in the boot than outside. You were here first. Don't buy hunters. I was sponsored by them. <laughs> no, we're not. Anyway, sorry, here's that footage of the kestrels. Yeah, if you do it and zoom right in. Sorry, I can't. Okay. Yeah, it's just a keep going that way. You see it
Hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. Anyway, uh, it's chucking it down. So it's going to be a very quick veggie patch update, but you can hear that Lisa's not happy. I'll show you. What? Something's taken my flower off. Oh. Probably something that was uh, protecting it from being waterboarded. Tomatoes are doing good. Yeah, I can see that. You certainly have got green fingers. It's another tomato. Raspberries are getting there. Very good. Uh, English runner beans about to flower look. Boom. Oh no. Onions destroyed. Is that just purely from the rain? I think that's um they've been dug oh. by something. New rocket that I've just put the in. The new rocket, yeah? Yeah. And what's this? Lettuce, new, new lettuces. New lettuce. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. <laughs> A bit content light since Wednesday. Uh, apologies for that. Anyway, layers.